this lesson, we're going to be talking about the functional group of alcohols. Now, if we go back to our sheet here that we have, this is our priority sequence. Previously, what we've dealt with are alkenes, alkynes, and aromatic compounds, also known as the benzene. For the next several lessons, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about what's higher up here on the list. These are things that are going to be changing the suffix or the ending of our names. So by definition, an alcohol is something that has an OH group to it. The rest of the rules involving the main chain remain unchanged. So if we have CH3OH, this is going to be known as methanol because there's one carbon and then an alcohol group. Same thing if I've got, in this case, four different carbons and I had an OH group, this is going to be a butanol. Now it's at spot two, so therefore it's butan two all. Specifically right here, we also see something called phenols. Phenols is unique, and we see it in a lot of places in nature. For example, when we smell raspberry, this would be an example of the phenol group that's attached to that molecule. Now, a phenol, by definition, is an alcohol attached to a benzene ring. So this wouldn't be called benzene one all or benzol. This would be phenol. That's its proper name. So naming priorities haven't changed very much from all the other lessons we've done. We identify the longest carbon chain that's going to contain the OH group. So you name the parent alkane or the carbon chain just like we have in every other example. The suffix in this case is going to be alcohol. Now we identify any prefixes, so pieces that are coming off the chain. So for example, let's say I had this piece right here. So yet again, we name number it. We can see it's a butane. We have an alcohol group too. So therefore, it's but an one, or sorry, two. Two all. So our next example here, we'll do something very similar, but a lot of double bond. How is that going to change the name? Well, before we had an and, but now we have this right here. So it's but 2, en-2, all. This indicates the alcohol is at spot 2, and we indicate here that the double bond is at spot 2. So in this example right here, we're going to figure out do we count left to right or right to left. So in this particular case, the most important thing we're going to look at for our interests is going to be our OL group here. So what we can see, we can see it's a six carbon chain. And if we can't see that, we can see one, two, three, four, five, six. We can see that alcohol is going to take the priority in this case. So therefore, we're going to name this one, two, three. We can see that there's a methane group at spot three. So it's three methyl. So when we put all this naming together, it is 3-methyl-hexan-1-all. So with this example right here, we can see there's an alcohol at spot 2 and 3, which is going to make it a diol, 4, 5, 6, 7. So yet again, in this case, we've got a 7-carbon chain, so it's going to be a heptane. No double bonds or triple bonds to worry about. We see that the suffix is going to be a diol at spot 2 and 3. We've got a prefix of 4, and this is where our methyl group is going to be. So therefore, when we put this all together, it is going to be a 4-methyl heptane, heptane 2,3-diol. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, isn't this going to be a typo? Shouldn't it be heptan? So here's why it's heptane. We add the E here. If there's going to be an example where there's more than one alcohol group. So this is an E because of the two, because of the diols. So we have two right there. So if we look on our previous slide here, where we had just one alcohol, it was heptan-iol. 
So the E here is because of the two alcohols. So now remember, when we're trying to name suffixes, the important things are we look at the naming order based on what's important here. After that, when we're then that's the naming order. Now we need to list things alphabetically. So this example here is fairly straightforward. We've got three carbons and just our alcohol. Now this alcohol could be at spot one or it could be at spot two. Therefore, we have to differentiate and say that's propan one all. In this particular case here, because it's at spot two, this is propan two all. In our last example here, we've got a methyl group at spot five. We have an alcohol at spot two. The alcohol is more important in terms of the numbering, so therefore we're going to number in this case right to left, which makes this alcohol spot two. It makes the methanol or the methyl group spot five. In this particular case right here, we have a four carbon chain, so it's a butane. The alcohol is at spot two, so therefore it's butan two all. In this particular case here, we've got an alcohol at spot one. We have our methyl group at spot two, and we have our chloral group at spot three. The chlorine is going to come before methyl, so for therefore this becomes three chloral, two methyl butan, one all. Now in this particular case right here, what's our longest carbon chain? It's going to be this right here, because this chain right here it includes our alcohol group, and that's the important part. Therefore, three carbon chains, so it's a propan. And we have at spot two, two methyl groups. So it's two, two, dimethyl, propan, one, all. So now if we're trying to draw four methyl pentane, one, two, diol, and as a reminder, it's an E right here because we've got two alcohol groups. If there's just one alcohol group, it'd be heptan, all. So now what we're trying to do, we've got a pentane. So there's our five carbon chain. We've got an alcohol group at spot one. We've got an alcohol group at spot two. We can see at spot four is where we're going to have our methane group. So for the root, it's a five carbon chain, which is why it's pentane. We've got OH groups on carbon one and carbon two. And the prefix is going to have a methyl at spot four. So therefore, this is going to be our answer here.